Smashing. Good. Excellent. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for attending and joining this webinar this morning. Um, for those um, that have joined, um, thank you very much. I know we um, had to move the last webinar from last week, which I apologize for. Um, so we're kicking this one off today. Um, just to run you through the Enfon Cloud Telephone System and all the key features around that. Um, so before we kick off, um, I'll just have to do my little piece. If you're having phone problems, I feel bad for you, son. I've got 99 problems, but the switch ain't one. And I apologize for anyone who saw the, the rap that went along with that. Um, it's, it's a bit you know, it's a bit terrible if I'm really honest with you, but <laughs> we, we, we had to do it. But um, our marketing team wants me to uh, follow up with a, a rap music video, so uh, I'm kind of kindly declining, but uh, I don't think they've got the resources to actually pay me to do that, so uh, I think we'll put that to bed. So before we kick off, um, I just have to let you know around uh, just this webinar in general, so if you have any questions, on the right-hand side, you can probably have the uh, the questions uh, pace, uh, piece. So, uh, if there are any burning questions during the webinar, then please ask, and I will try and get them answered. Um, or at the end of the webinar, there's usually the Q and A session. So, um, if if we can wait until then, that'll be no problem at all. Um, and uh, this webinar is recorded as well, so we'll send you the um, the link just. And you know, just so you have a look at later on, also we'll, we'll give you the slides, slides on that. Um, so a quick introduction from myself. My name is Chris Wheeler. I'm the Microsoft Cloud Engagement Manager. Although in my role, it's it's not just Microsoft Cloud that I I deal with. There, there's a load of um, other cloud services such as Enfon that uh, I manage uh, internally in the company. So we uh, took on Enfon partnership uh, roughly, I think just about. Five, five, four, five months ago. Uh, so it's been a really exciting uh, journey for us uh, taking on uh, cloud telephony, as we've we've never really ventured out into that 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 section before. Um, so we got introduced to Justin. We had a really good chat about it, and we saw a really great opportunity to offer that alongside our Office 365. The the message being is that um, Office 365 is really just the first step into a complete cloud solution. And then Fon ties in really nicely with that message. So I'm going to pass you to Justin. Justin is our Unified Comm Specialist at Enfon. Um, so he's going to run you through the, the offering. And I'll be in the background um, with, the, with the chat and the questions. So uh, Justin, I'm just going to give you control. And there we go. Over to you, Justin. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Chris, for uh, inviting me this morning. So really, what I just want to go through is just a number of slides really around the Enfon Cloud Telephony offering, um, and more importantly, around unified collaboration for the, the business in today and how we can help maybe you as a customer looking at the way that you collaborate as an organization and how we can do that within Cloud Telephony. Chris, if you might be able to need to take control of the slide, my friends, it's um, yeah, sure. letting me no move across. Perfect. Okay, thank you. So Enfon are a German cloud telephony organization. They've been around since 2007. Um, they came into the UK market back in 2013. And it is a platform that allows an end user to scale from two users up to a multi-thousand, multi multi-site organization. The Enform platform is an asterisk-based platform, and it delivers a full enterprise telephony switch for any customer that wants to be able to deliver that. So we have presence in 13 countries across Europe. So for an organization that's based in the UK, it allows them to have the ability to deliver telephony, not just along in Europe, but globally into the US, Asia, and globally. 
Um, next slide, please, Chris. So in today's market, one of the key things that maybe as an organization yourself, um, most organizations have an on-prem telephony switch, and they've been moving a lot of their services into the cloud, and telephony is one of those that they're now looking at more and more. So we've seen a key change in the market over the last 12 to 18 months where more business decision makers are actually looking at cloud for telephony and for a number of reasons that they're looking at that is number one ISDN is actually going to be phased out within the next three to four years so it's going to drive organizations to look at how their communications are managed and that will drive more traffic into the cloud over like SIP connectivity for the organizations that are looking at changing another key driver is really innovation with cloud telephony um, through Enfon it allows us to drive product changes very quickly very effectively free of charge into our customers so as long as the customer has the Enfon telephony platform we will drive all new feature changes and that could be small, medium or large. We have a product roadmap over the next three to four years that will enhance and improve continually. And all of those will be free of charge to the customer. So this takes the pain away from ever having to look at software upgrades, upgrades of the phone system, but more importantly, no more rip and replace where the existing on-prem may become end of life, may not actually have the functional features that as a business you require. So software as a service now through Enfon, through Telephony will give greater innovation to you as a client as you actually use the product. In today's world, ease of use is really key in two ways. The IT telephony admin teams within organizations want a system that can be accessed from anywhere, can be changed, maintained updated very quickly very effectively and with our cloud platform this allows any administrator to make basic to major core telephony changes very easily very effectively and also for users as more users are working in different locations today's telephony has to be adaptable to be able to use from an office environment working from home working on the road and that has to be delivered through a number of applications very easily so users can adopt telephony. And obviously price advantage. With cloud telephony, uh, we can operate from a 30-day rolling contract that allows the business to really look at the users and we can flex up and flex down. So as I said, we can start off from two users and flex up all the way up to a multi-thousand user site. Next slide, please, Chris. So when we look at enterprise telephony, one of the key drivers for most businesses, can we replace the phone system that you currently have? Um, Enfon delivers a full 150 suite enterprise phone system that is enterprise grade. So that means that we've got a full feature list it allows your business to replicate everything they have today, hopefully plus more that you're looking for as a business going forward. Whether you're a single site or a multi-site, we can deliver multi-location working. All of our devices are true hot desking, which means that I can work from any location with a device and log in wherever I am and all of my functions and features follow me. If as a business you're looking at multiple things like auto attendance, call queuing, hunt groups, um, contact center, we can deliver that out of the box for you. And also audio conferencing is a key factor in today's business world where lots more audio conferences take place. So as an Enfon customer, each user will get a, a free 50 participant audio conference bridge as a part of their license. So when we look at the core features, Enfon can replace any 
telephony system that you have, and more importantly, future proof you going forward, knowing that your business will be in good hands around the actual telephone call feature set. But in the modern business world, we know that the desk phone, though is gradually dying off, is still a core part of everyday user. But more and more people are looking at devices such as mobiles and soft phones. So Enfon gives the customer the ability to have a full enterprise mobile client that is a part of the phone system. So it allows the user to work on a Android, BlackBerry, iOS device, and it would allow true enterprise telephony. So it's not mobile twinning. This is where you can dial an extension number or a DDI, and the user can actually pick it up and answer it from their mobile or make calls from their mobile. So in today's business, that's great. It means that if you've got a bring your own device strategy, the user can actually present their mobile number or they can present a main reception number when dialing out and not actually presenting their mobile. And it allows customers to dial in and wherever the user is, at their desk, away from their desk, on the road, that call can be delivered to the mobile. Now also some people may not want a desk phone, so the soft phone is available on Mac and on PC. So we can deliver the telephony switch on a soft phone that the user can utilize with a headset. Fully encrypted uh, e-fax services, so if you want to get any rid of fax machines, we can deliver an e-fax service. We can do full ad hoc recording up to enterprise business grade call recording as well. So if your business requires call recording with PCI compliance, encryption, we can deliver that through the platform. One of the things that you may look at also as a business is call center monitoring or we what we call training coaching. So the system will allow any team leader, manager, supervisor to be able to listen into staff as a key feature and use training through what we call call whisper services. So it means that they can train any member of staff or listen into any call and guide and help the user at any time. One of the other things that we know through the business today is that you may have an ERP or CRM system that may not currently integrate with your current phone platform. And you may be looking at the productivity increases that things like click to dial, screen popping, all those type of applications that can really improve an agent's or member of staff's productivity and also customer interaction. So we know that through understanding the CLI coming in, the CRM system can pop and you know who the customer is. Um, it's a much better customer interaction, whatever size of organization, especially in a sales or operational type role. So they're like the core options, and then we get really to some of the value adds that we can add on to that. So NMeeting Plus is a web sharing tool. Um, as I said, we've got full Outlook and CRM integration, and we've got core recording. And one of the key drivers that we want to talk to you about today is Skype for Business through Microsoft, and how we can integrate and look at true collaboration for the business through the Skype for Business offering. Next slide, please, Chris. You are going to say that. <laughs> so when we look at Skype for Business today, I would look at, if you're a business already that's using Skype, the key drivers for a lot of Skype for Business users are that the IM presence enables the business to start understanding the user, what they're doing, are they in meetings, are they available? And it starts improving collaboration on a basic level where we can start instant messaging our colleagues, cuts down our email traffic, and it gets a quicker response. And also, users are using desktop collaboration tools, maybe some video. But one of the challenges that the business faces is that they have a phone system that doesn't integrate with Skype for Business, that allows Skype for Business to to deliver the telephony. So what Enfon um, can deliver to the business is a full enterprise switch through Enfon that integrates through software only so there are no plugins, no physical hardware required. 
This works off the network, off your broadband connection in the cloud. So what we're actually doing is we're allowing the Skype for Business client to actually be a full PBX platform. So we do Skype for Business handsets, but more importantly, if you just wanted to use a headset, it enables a lot more flexibility where the client can sit on the, the Mac or the PC. And also the Skype for Business client is driven through a mobile application as well. But the key driver to this is there's no physical hardware on premise. We're fully interconnected into your current Office 365 package, and we can enable enterprise telephony on your Skype for Business. Next slide, please, Chris. So how it works is, is today is that through your Office 365, or you may have on-prem Skype for Business, one of the key drivers, as we said, is how do we integrate a full enterprise switch through the Skype for Business application? So through the Enfon Skype for Business product, we allow the Skype for Business application to have a keypad. And through that keypad, what sits behind it is all of the functionality. So as a business, you've got full-time control routing, so day service, night service. We've got full multi-layer auto attendant, extension and call management, call forwarding, do not disturb, queues, hand groups, pickup groups. So whatever size of your organization, what we can start working with you on is a full switch that comes into it. But one of the big benefits of the Enfon platform is that we see Skype for Business as a pure endpoint only, which means that we can mix and match the endpoints within your organization. Now, this is really helpful for a business that may not want to adopt Skype for Business 100% from day one. So we work with lots of organizations that have a mix of users. And that can be a user that is on a, a standard Enfon desk phone, uh, a user that's using a fixed mobile client or Skype for business. And we deliver the telephony to any of those users, either through extension to extension, or obviously through internal or external dialing. So when we look at this, Hopefully you're seeing already that the cloud platform through Enfon can deliver the enterprise suite. But when we're looking at Skype for Business, you can then start taking it to the next level where collaboration will enable you to do more things with Skype and have an enterprise suite at the back end. Next slide, please. So when we're making a call, one of the key things, obviously, if we've been using Skype, we, we're making calls on Skype already, and predominantly probably Skype to Skype calls only, or you may have a basic call package through a Skype to business client that doesn't deliver all of the enterprise phone features. So through the Enfon package, it means that through the keypad, we can dial any number ad hoc, or we can right click and actually deliver a call through the contacts. The contacts are driven through your Outlook, so whatever information we've got in there. So as long as it's like mobile number, EDI, extension number is present in the Outlook contact file, and we've actually added the contact to the Skype for Business, we can make calls on a daily basis. Taking a call is the customer will dial you, whether it's uh, a customer or a personal call, whatever. They can either dial a number of ways. They can dial your DDI or an extension number. The screen will pop, and through the headset or handset, it enables you to be able to take the call. Now, at this point, either making a call or taking a call, once the call is present, I have the ability to able to transfer that call. If I'm in a hunt group, I can hit a star code to be able to pick the call up. I can conference people in. I can now take that call from a audio call to a video call. I can share my desktop 
and more importantly, once we're in a call, the presence now on the Skype for Business will indicate to other users, externally or federated, that you're in a phone call. So this is one of the key functions around when we talk about true collaboration. When we use Skype outside of telephony integration, it tells everybody that we're in a meeting or busy or maybe unavailable, but if I'm picking up the phone, it doesn't actually tell any internal or external clients that I'm actually on Skype with that I'm actually on a telephone call. So with the end on Skype for Business platform, once I pick up the call, my presence will automatically change to either say in a conference call or in a call. And also it's important that on a normal handset within an old telephone system, we have the buttons and the ability to understand who's called us, who's missed, etc. Through the Skype for Business call records, we can have full functionality of not just call records of calls taken, calls made, calls missed, but obviously as you know there's IM traffic in there as well. So we can start understand who's called, who's not called. So it can really replace the phone system at an enterprise level and give us the collaboration that the business needs. Next slide, please, Chris. Just let you all know, we didn't rehearse this, so I just thought I'd let you know me and Justin are like really in sync, so. <laughs> So when we look at notifications, obviously one thing that once again, from traditional telephony, when we look at adoption, one of the things that people will say is, well, okay, how do I know I've actually got a missed call? Um, we deliver a missed call notification into the inbox of the user saying that the call has been missed and who actually rung. So it's very easy when we get back to the desk or if I'm actually on a mobile device with, say, Microsoft Outlook as an application, that call will get delivered through an inbox and then I can actually look at maybe calling back from my Skype for Business mobile client. But at no time will you not know that someone has actually missed a call with you. And the other thing is how do we deliver voicemail? So we deliver voicemail to email. So if somebody rings and the Skype for Business client isn't answered, the rules are actually set up on the Enform platform on, on how many rings. But once it actually goes into voicemail, the user will leave you a voicemail and it will deliver through the email platform. Now this is standard on Enfon whether it's Skype for Business or a desk phone or a soft phone because we appreciate that people are more and more on the move and they may not actually want to come back to the desk to access the voicemail. So they can access it from any type of device that has email. And then they can actually set on one system that if they listen to it on the email, it can either delete from the actual core voicemail platform or it can stay. So when you do go back to your desk, it will be on the phone ready for you to listen again at any time. Next slide. <coughs> So one of the things, obviously, when we look at changing this, in a core PBX world today, we know that headsets are maybe a part of your organization. Um, the key drivers, really, for Skype adoption is a lot more Skype users don't actually have a handset today. They look at headsets to be actually their main core use, and that could be a USB corded all the way from a Bluetooth to adapt. And the key thing here is that we work with the organization to understand the users within the business and do some user profiling around what is the best technology for the user um, and how are they going to use it. So if they're just a desk phone user, appreciate that it could be more of a corded headset or like myself that are what we call a mobile worker that works in and out of different locations on the road. I use a Bluetooth headset because it, it allows me to go into multiple locations, connect to my Skype for Business very easily and my mobile and be able to have a, a high audio quality call through a device. And we work with the, B, the big three manufacturers, Jabra, Plantronics and Sennheiser, to deliver the right product there. But also when we look at Skype for Business adoption, the other key thing is if we look at the next slide is around handsets. If we know through our current customers, one of the key things that they, okay, missed the slide, but I'll talk, is around handset adoption as well. If I've got users that are looking at 
using a standard handset today and they want Skype for business, we can deliver a multiple through like Polycom or Yealink or Audio Codes, a handset that allows the customer to have a traditional type of voice experience. Okay, so either headset or handset through the Skype for Business application. And more importantly around video. So if you've, if you've started doing video already, we know that clients are looking at two key ways really. They're looking at Skype for Business as being their key video driver product. Um, this because it facilitates peer-to-peer -peer video very easily. Um, more businesses now are looking at how can we drive Skype for Business video into things like small huddle rooms, meeting rooms of any size. So we can facilitate this through Polycom. So we can work with you if you're looking at video as an organization. We know video is a massive improvement on not just collaboration, but working smarter, easier, uh, reducing travel requirements for internal and external meetings, and obviously productivity around like desktop sharing with video, and just improving that whole collaboration piece. So we can work with you on Skype for Business and Polycom, or if it's something that sits out Skype for Business, we can work with you on life size that deliver a full enterprise video solution. So the key thing really around the last three slides are, the Skype for Business is a fantastic application, but there's more to think about when we look at end user adoption of making it work for you as the customer, making your employees actually adopt it quicker, more effectively, and that can be in a number of ways of just making sure that the right product is on the user desk from a core Enfon product to a Skype for Business Enfon. And then when you're ready either now or going forward, you know that if video it becomes a part of your company roadmap, then we can work with you on delivering a full video infrastructure as well. Next slide. That's it. So, yeah, I think the, hopefully um, I've um, the flexibility. demonstrated to you everything that the Enfon Cloud Telephony platform can deliver. I think one key thing just for me to finish, Chris, is that as a cloud platform, it gives you a lot more flexibility. But one thing that we work with Grey Matter on is that we are a true believer in that it's actually trying the product um, because it's only when you use it yourself and you understand the benefits so we work with through Grey Matter to be able to do any type of trial or proof of concept. Um, and we're happy to be able to uh, put some licenses together with Skype for Business or Enfon or both to actually give you a true experience so you can try it yourself. So I thank you for your time, everybody. I'll hand you back over to Chris and any questions, just let us know. Nice one. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, I think you nailed it on the head just around the flexibility. I think we've, you know, more and more people are starting to understand that no matter where you are or what time it is, you've always got access to your resources, whether that's your files and folders, but ultimately now it's, you know, it's also your phone number as well. So one key element that we're starting to look at now is um, mobile phones are typically a good starting point as well, um, not just you know handsets, but also mobile devices in the sense that instead of having a, like maybe a mobile telephone number, the Enfon piece can patch through to that. So wherever you are, if you're out of the office, your landline number can still reach you. So it's generally speaking is that not only can it offer that, but also it then starts getting people to think about mobile phone contracts, data only packages. Um, so it open up, opens up a, a massive, massive, you know, a bigger picture around to what you're doing around the whole communication side. But um, the other aspect as well, we know that Office 365 is a com you know, communication collaboration piece, so why not tie in your telephony solution with that as well and have a really great all-out solution um, in that. So um, I think that's, um, that, that's my piece on that. So um, I, I'll just literally just take the next couple of minutes just to see if anyone's got any last-minute uh, questions. Um, and what we'll then do is I'll follow up with um, everyone who's attended. Um, just about the slide deck and the recordings. Um, for anyone that couldn't make it, I think this will probably go up on the website. 
uh, and we'll also send out um, any sort of information that anyone requires. Justin nailed it on the head as well around um, the, the trial, so there's no harm in setting up a trial account, um, provided that I think all you just need is an internet connection to uh, hook, hook the phone systems up and start testing. So, um, it, you know, if anyone would like that, then just let us know and we'll be more than happy to accommodate that. For those who joined, thank you very much for attending and um, we look forward to speaking with you very soon. And thank you very much for your time, Justin. Have a great rest of your day Thanks, and have a very good bank holiday weekend fast approaching as well. I know we've yeah, already had one, but let's have a little warm so got the sunshine. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.